Hi viewers, welcome to Mira's Tiny Garden. Today I am going to prune a succulent plant that is Cresula ovata, commonly known as jet plant. It's a common house plant, popular as lucky plant. We can keep this plant in front of the office or southeast corner of our home to invite good fortune and prosperity. Its tree-like appearance makes them very appealing, so it's a good material for bonsai. Basic understanding of pruning will help you to successfully train mini SR trees. Prune back to one or two sets of leaves after eight to 10 leaves have grown. After few days, two new stems will sprout at the pruning site. Bronze pruning is essential to creating the bonsai form. We should choose an appropriate time to prune. Spring is the best time for pruning of jet plant. Too hot or too cold weather is not good for pruning at all. Just avoid it. This plant is very ideal to have at home, especially for those people who have to travel or be away from home for 5 to 6 days because Cresula ovata can go for a long time without water. It's very important to cut back the branches which do not blend with this plant. Pruning up the top root. Let's talk about how to care for jet plant side by side while pruning without wasting time. Three basic things is very important when you grow a jet plant. That is, make sure plants get enough light, water it according to the season, plant it into a good potting mix. We can also use cactus soil mix. Don't fertilize it regularly or heavily, but we can use liquid fertilizer once in a month. Liquid fertilizer should be very diluted. For bonsai, formal upright, forest style, glove style, splanting style, suits that very well. It's done. Looking nice. Let's learn from a cutting. The notch are the joints that leaves grows out of it. Cut back the branch so they have two or three notes. Don't cut near the joints of the leaves. So don't prune here. Prune it below the next node. Lots of reduces. I am not going to throw this away. It can be propagated from leaf cuttings or stem cuttings. Usually leaf cuttings takes longer than stem cutting to develop its roots. I have grown this from stem cuttings. 
let's have a look how to propagate jet plants from leaf cuttings. Make sure to take the whole leaf including the base, just like that. Here I am using well drainage soil. We can also use cactus soil mix for propagation. Select healthy and full grown leaves for propagation. Now lay them flat on the soil. Leaf cuttings produces both stem and roots. We need to be careful when watering a succulent like jet plant. They store water in their leaves so they don't like to be over water. As you can see, leaf is very thick. If we squeeze the leaf, water comes out from it instantly. That's all for today. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video. Bye for now.